A local woman says getting her high school records is providing harder, proving harder than she thought. Yeah, she reached out to 10 on your side because she found out that her school may not have been accredited to begin with. 10 on your side's Tamara Scott spoke with her. Tamara, you said that uh, further education with these past records, but now this is a whole different story. That's right. She did get, her, get into the military and got into several different community colleges when the school was still open. Now that it's closed and for someone trying to change their career after 30, the road to rediscovery has not been easy. They just need to verify that it's valid. And they said they do this with everybody that comes. They just run it through the computer and it checks it. And since they hit so many roadblocks with this one, that it's not proving valid. Nikki Johnson graduated from James River Christian Academy in Smithfield in 2004. The school, opened since 1972, closed in 2007. She says in her attempt to receive transcripts and proof of accreditation, they seem to not exist. Whenever you look it up, it still gives you the Bench Church address. It still gives you the phone number to the Bench Church address. And with that, um, whenever you call the phone number, it just says disconnected. I spoke with a former principal who preferred not to comment. I also spoke with the Association of Christian Schools International Academic Services Coordinator, Aaron Lopez, who says the school is not a member of their organization, nor are they accredited by them. It should have been the easy part to go get my transcripts. It should have been in and out and to find no accreditation is just mind-blowing. I graduated in 2004. I'm 32 years old, and I'm just now finding this out. Further investigation from the State and Association of Christian School International show no records. Nikki says she feels frustrated and cheated after paying for an education but not being able to prove it. Nikki says now unless her records turn up, she will have to get her GED to start her new program. We'll keep you updated as this story develops. Tamara Scott, 10 on your side.